The Modi 3.0 government is understood to have decided to provide extensive funding to the northeastern states to build hydropower infrastructure as part of New Delhi's focus on building clean energy infrastructure. The center is thinking of providing funds to the state governments to purchase equity in such projects up to a maximum of 24% of the project cost, but not exceeding 750 crore per project. Our natural Pradesh, with a potential of generating 58,000 megawatts of hydropower in the state, identified as having the highest hydropower hub in the country. India has set a target of generating 67 gigawatts of hydropower by 2031-32 in a bid to reduce carbon emission and integrate renewable energy into the grid to maintain a fine balance between power generated through other means. All eyes are now on the budget 2024 to be laid in Parliament this week to see what exactly does the centre do to boost hydropower infrastructure in the country. It may be mentioned that Arunachal is the focus state when it comes to hydropower projects. Of the four dams in Arunachal, the Ranganadi Dam is complete and operational. It is the first mega dam of Arunachal Pradesh on the Ranganati River, a tributary of Brahmaputra River. The dam is approximately 345 meters long and 68 meters high. The Ranganati Hydroelectric Power Project is a 405 megawatt project supporting the Dikrong Power House, which has three units of 135 megawatts each. The other big hydro projects in Arunachal are the 2880 megawatt Dipang Multipurpose Hydropower Project of NHPC Limited in Lower Dipang Valley District and the Lower Subansari and Subansiri and Upper Siang Multipurpose Storage Project. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation of the 2880 megawatt Dipang Multipurpose Hydropower Project of NHPC Limited in Lower Dipang Valley District in March this year. To be built at a cost of more than Rs 31,875 crores, the Dipang project will be the highest dam structure in the country. It will generate electricity and also help in flood moderation and lead to employment opportunities and socio-economic development in the region. The 2880 megawatt Dipang multipurpose project would come up near Munli village in Lower Dipang Valley District. The Lower Subansiri would generate 2000 megawatt of power by harnessing the potential of the Subansiri River. 90% of the work is already done.